Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. Starting the week this week, we've got windows turning up very shortly, but we've got a few dirty jobs to get out of the way. First of those is screed removal. So we're reducing the level of the original screed to match the new. The uh, screed that was originally there was all over the place. It had been chopped in and there the are different sorts of floorings and there was tiles in some rooms and carpet in others. And so a load of screed had been poured all over the place to make up. And what was there wasn't actually even level. So we're taking it back to the original subfloor. We'll be putting a thin coat latex screed on top and then our uh, new parts will be uh, obviously screeded to the correct level. We've also got the fact that the bifolding doors when they go in they go in five mil above the uh, finished floor level and we're also allowing for that. So Claire's on the case using the breaker one of her favorite tools doing some demolition so more of the house is getting more of the bungalow is getting carted away in the whole grand scheme of things came up pretty nice had a sort of defined level between the big old screw that they put in and the, the blinding underneath so it meant that it sort of divided up quite nicely Still a back-breaking job, still a bit of a killer, but it meant, meant the levels went in quite nicely and went in right. So after a bit of clearing up, move on to the rest of it. This one's a bit thinner, this is the entrance way, not quite as uh, thick as the dining room area was. But I think this was worse because it sort of stuck down more and it was really sort of bitty. So on this area we really need to reduce the brickwork height by about 70 mil. So we're levelling round to give us our line and our mark to work to. As you can see I've pencil lined it all the way round. And then we're angle grinding off to drop the height. This is how the bifolded doors can get their sort of mechanism and their running track underneath. We hadn't realised this at the time when we ordered them and everything else that this needed to be done. So this is a bit of a bit of a pain and a bit of a sort of remedial work. And it's proper messy. So using the angle grinder and we're cutting as straight as possible and then we're going halfway through the brick with the idea of trying not to destroy the joint or try not to make any gaps we want it to be as smooth as possible so we don't have to do any more making good before the window can go down onto it so being as delicate as possible half the brick gets removed and then back with the angle grinder again to cut the rest of the way through And then it's just a matter of working all the way around onto the other side exactly the same so using a combination of the sort of small and the large angle grinders just messy goggles and face mask necessity the amount of dust that gets kicked out from this one is just immense And then trimming off the other half of the brick. And worked out pretty well, so the, the bit of brick that was left didn't didn't come unbonded from its joint. And it meant we had a nice smooth edge 
or base for the bifolding doors to sit on. And then that gives us our 70mm below DPC that's needed so that the doors when they open clear. And that's it. So we've got the screeds all up. We've worn out clear. All chucked away and in the trailer. Last couple of jobs before the windows fitters turn up. I think they're due tomorrow. So when we were doing the floor slabs before we left this corner exposed and open because at the time we didn't have the steel in place or any of the steels. So we got the brick layer to leave it empty and we partitioned it off when we are doing the slab. So just a little repair to do. Just to finish that off. And we've also got to fill in the uh, bottom half of the cavity just to bond those bottoms, bottoms of those bricks together. So we're using a nice runny mix. Doesn't need to be massively strong. Just needs to fill in the gap. So it runs around it nicely. And the last of the slab. Mixing in the barra. There we go. Job's a good one, as they say. Next on the list, uh, we need to put some timber work around the corner steel post. This is to support the ends of the bifolding doors. So we're bolting straight into the steel work. Pilot drilling and tapping and then using some M8 bolts just to hold it into place. This will get um, constructed just with uh, 100 by 100 timbers screw screwed together and then on the internals we're putting some 18 mil OSB for them to use so they can screw into it anywhere pretty much. We'll also be marking where the, the studs are so they've got that as reference. And then on the outside we've got the concrete board that we're using on other places around that'll end up getting rendered and that'll all get rendered in. Keeping it looking the same. So we've got the DPC there above the brick working in between before the timber work just to stop any damp coming up through the bricks. And then when the fitters put the uh, windows in they'll also be putting a new DPC along that top edge to stop any damp coming up through the brickwork. So just screwing the 18 mil into place. And also the concrete board. You can see how flexible it is. It's sort of proper wants to bend, but it's uh, really heavy. It's bizarre stuff. It's like really heavy plasterboard. And there you go. The finished effort. Good day today. Here they come. The new windows. Fitters arrived on site 7.30. Penciled in for three days to fit them. So we shall see how they get on. 
I think this was one of the very first things that we ordered. I don't even think we'd started pulling the bungalow apart by this time and we, uh, we'd almost got the order placed for the windows. Or in principle anyway and got prices and stuff like that. But heading on in, all in the back of the, what seemed like a small van, but all in bits. So you've got the main, main frames, things like the bifolding frames were put up on site. All the glass was kept separate from the frames, all nicely packaged. There you can see the bifolding frame being put together. And even just a few hours in, they've got a window in upstairs, fixed into the timber frame and foam round. So then by the end of the first day, we've got front windows in, so we've got the bathroom, hallway, and then lounge window, all fixed into place, all foamed in. And then round at the back, bedrooms one and two at the top there. There's the window you saw after it had just been put in first thing in the morning. And then at the bottom we've got bedrooms three and four. Just a bit of tidying up to do on the windows. I think there's a few stickers and stuff they take off. And I have to say, pretty good. They clean all the windows before they leave. And tidy up the job site. So there's none of the packaging or anything. That's all got rid of. So by the end of the second day, bifolding doors are all in and all finished off. And you'd never know they've been. Apart from the fact we've now got windows, which is nice. So well on the way to uh, sealing the place up. So this is the main event, the bifolding doors. And opening up that living, dining, kitchen area downstairs the main big room so as we show you a few pictures of that I thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you again on the next one